Yeah, back. Hey, welcome back. Troy, nice time in cruising in on a break. Still, uh, still in the introduction, so not bad at all. Welcome. Nisus, absolutely. Rakavon, how are you doing? Welcome, everyone. Anyone who just got here. Anyone who's been lurking out there. You just landed on the Nexus. Still can't save. Still in the introduction, but we're getting there. Uh, hey, we have inventory access. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian. I've studied species to be in a sorry and veterian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian. Proud to be here, Shepard. See, sir! Thank you! Hey! That's a way to come back, Sea Star! Thank you so much. Can we get some love in chat for Sea Star? Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> ah, thank you for the welcome back, everyone. <laughs> thank you for the awesome support. That was that's incredibly generous. All of you have been so welcoming, and thank you for that. Ah. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to all of this stuff. Hey, We've landed on the Nexus. Captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. It's really happening. Take a deep breath. We are really back. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment, but now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're going to do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. I'm just not what sure. I'm just not sure. But we survived that. Right. <clears throat> so, always keep a jump jet handy. Except for, you know, right now while we're saying it. No jump jets. What if you need one here? I love our scanner, though. All right. All stations personnel report to duty station. engineering to secure all connections from the Ark to the Nexus. What's the priority? Start running power and data links first, then move to secondary comm tracking. Got it. Follow up very carefully. Awfully dark in here. Yeah, we are a woo. Daddy wasn't there. I just updated the charts. I want to see crew reassignments first. Definitely get an occasional Austin Powers vibe. Feeling pretty good, Troy. Feeling pretty good. Uh, the break happened to coincide with... Um, Painkiller time. I definitely am on. I'm on about a four-hour cycle right now. Kind of have a, a halo of pain around the back of my neck, even though they went in from the front to get to the spine, where I feel there's kind of shoulder to shoulder and a loop around the back. And there's still residual arm stuff, but I mean it's all good. I can use my arms, and it doesn't it doesn't create more pain. I can lean forward, and it doesn't send me off into uh, swooning neuropathies. It's um, it's good. It's healing. I mean, it could take 18 months till all the arm stuff goes away, they say, or till we'll even know if there was any nerve damage. But uh, it's immediately better. It's immediately better. And the pain here is manageable as opposed to um, sudden shouting, shooting, screaming stuff. How long? Uh, nice to see some friendly faces how long was your your the recovery period? Period. Just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Got to have champagne for the welcome party. 
You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Tell me about it. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Okay, to Nexus personnel. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Where's the beer? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. We could see what the VI has to say. Standard Nexus. Plants are still alive. Computer terminal. Holographic systems interface. Oh, it's, it's our old like friend of Vina. Are you talking about the station or the game? Sorry. Hello. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code I'm sorry is to hear that, Troy. ...and simple interaction simulation. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. For science, amen. Yeah, I think because this was a period of months, uh, it it is unlikely to be permanent, but won't really know until it's had a good long period uh, to try and heal. Sea Star, you're switching to lurk mode. Catch us all tomorrow. Have fun and enjoy. Thank you. Sleep well. Happy lurking. We'll definitely see it tomorrow. Uh, I'm hoping to go another. Not quite four hours, maybe another three and a half hours today. We'll see if I can do that. It'd be nice to get back into six-hour streams. Uh, the first two hours or so blew right by. Tomorrow, the plan is to do another six tomorrow, starting earlier than today. So check out the schedule again over on Spec Me. But um, Sunday's a question mark right now. Let's see how today goes, see how I feel tomorrow. If I'm feeling pretty good going into tomorrow, might uh, set something up on the schedule for Sunday. And by the end of the weekend, I'll... Um, start picking on the rest of the the coming week to put things in place don't really have a plan but um we'll end up with one select from the following pre-programmed responses how does the immigration process work we ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey once you've been cleared our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? The place is deserted. What can you tell me about the Andromeda galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination it for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. <clears throat> Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5. Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. I don't think you should run those ads prematurely. That's where we landed. She's way out of date. What year is it? 
The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? Not here. That's all. It has been my <clears throat> pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. <laughs> right. That was helpful. Don't knock it, Cora. Maybe all we get for a bit. Um, Prestige, we're gonna play Horizon. But, um, I don't want to... Well, I don't want to break up Mass Effect, first of all. I thought during this extended absence of mine about different things I could do. Changing things to a different format where we kind of thread together a few different games on different days. But it's really not my thing, and I already have enough loose ends. So we're going to play through this, and uh, probably won't be 100 hours. I don't know how long it'll be, but people are finishing the game in 40 to 50 hours, right? And others in closer to, a, to 100 hours. Um... Well, we'll see. We'll see. Things go slower here, right? We spend a lot of time talking about stuff, so... I'm not in any rush. I'm real glad to be back. I'm real glad to be feeling able to be back and uh, looking ahead to more streams and the the question marks over when they will be are, are small little question marks compared to the big ones we've had lately about whether things are going to happen at all. They're going to happen. There's a guy. They're happening. Maybe he's got champagne. <laughs> Please. Beer, beer me now. Let's talk to that worker. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? His Did ears are tired. Arc? This is the Nexus, right? Pretty sure we parked in the right place. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. Of course, I'm sorry. It's just, we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Sarah Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. Damn right it does. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. Yeah, I'm like maybe starting in a few weeks. Um, there's going to be a lot of stages to this. I can't lift more than 10 pounds for about two months. I can't right. take any... Uh, can't take any regular painkillers, anti-inflammatory type stuff for three months. No Advil, nothing like that. Um still on on stronger meds right now on a very short four hour cycle so i gotta try and stretch that out a little bit um so i don't get stuck on them forever but uh it'll all it'll all uh, it'll all happen yeah 24 hour stream you know we almost did 33 of them number 33 kind of <laughs> didn't uh didn't pan out but it will happen it probably won't happen for a month or two or when it's possible and not before but I'm looking forward to that as much as anything. And Prestige, you're going to have to get used to it, man. You're going to have to get used to it. 
Oh, we can. We can keep everyone waiting. And we will. There's a lot of things visually which stand out to me um, besides all the good stuff, but for my part, I'm going to try not to point it all out or I'm going to get salty and bitter, and I just want to want to look past it and then enjoy everything. So feel free to discuss, but um, in, a, in a word for me, um, camera angles don't make it better. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are gonna be a real problem. This day just keeps getting... We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. Thunder? You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders. My neighbor dragging a trash can. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Yeah, Mike, pretty fast. Good luck. I'm Jaron Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Mm, I might. I might. Means more to us. Hey. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. <laughs> My father's Gee. dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Well, we came a long ways for nothing if I'm not. We'll all die if you're not. That's no way to treat a guest. The short I'm Krogan? I'm not Kesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. <laughs> it's a mess. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. Bye, An hour ago, that was all What's off. up? Both hey, Neo. In your ship. Hey. We're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. Hey, Krogan. Wanna dip your dingle? And when the power runs out? I don't think that Krogan has a dingle. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Boom. All right. I could have pulled ahead to this point before the break, but we were already uh, going way past two hours. It's nice to be able to go two hours at a time and feel like we can keep going. Oh, man, is it nice. So, yeah, welcome, Neo and Bionics. 
Oh, it's good to have arms at work again. Uh, did they mess up the Twitch quality? Neo, uh, what, what do you mean? What I mean is they're actually improving things. Very soon, transcoding is going to be available for everyone. Every stream. Uh, it's no longer going to be a partner-only thing with extra randomly um, available on certain streams. And I assume it's to be competitive now that you've got Beam Pro and other services. Twitch, backed by Amazon, is going to is going to do all kinds of things. And they want to encourage people to stream at higher bit rates. They're no longer suggesting that you keep it under 3K. They're going to say 3 to 6. They want people to stream at 1080p. They want people to stream at 60 FPS. And that's going to take higher bit rates. So they're encouraging people to, uh, to broadcast at 3K to 6K bit rates, which is really going to be awesome. Um, I won't be able to, to do... 6,000, but um, I might go push to 3,500 or 4, and we'll see if we can get some 60 FPS streams. Hey, Willow, Jay the Brave, Jay the Strong, Jay the Mighty, Jay the Enduring, Jay the Here Again. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, welcome. Welcome, Willow. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. And we may have transcoding already, but uh, there were a lot of things I wanted to prepare before coming back for this stream that just didn't happen. But we're going to be re-enabling... Uh, the chaos points. We're going to re-enable some mini games, like the the heists, and there's an arena battle. Be able to challenge people. We'll have more sound effects. Some of those are going to be game specific. We'll rotate some in and out. You'll be able to use. I wanted to have some of those ready for this, and I might still do that over the next couple days. Um, but experimenting with higher frame rate streams, I just I just haven't done that, so I'm not not ready to. Didn't want to start with that and see see everything blow up. So here we are, we can make our first actual save, right? Somewhere in here. <clears throat> Where'd the main menu go? There we are. All right, got our first hard save. Um, yeah, Discord, while well, I see people checking hours and I'm thinking about it, I did go ahead and just decide to, to bump the threshold for, for getting a Discord invite down from 50 hours down to 30 hours. Of course, GameWisp subs get um, get immediate access and that's working now. I think Game Wisp will actually hook you up with that. Hey, Mr. Gun, Privyet, welcome. Welcome back. So lots of lots of cool little things, and then hopefully some big things. Uh, I'm already feeling so much better. So much more able to engage on all these different levels, so... I haven't really had time to process all that. And my mother is still here, helping out, taking good care of me, and Tropic Mom is downstairs. Um... Maybe watching the stream, so be nice. She um, uh, she's been here for for a couple weeks already since the surgery, which was two weeks ago yesterday. So it's been great to have family around, and uh, and great to reconnect with the rest of my extended family here. So I hope everyone's excited about that. Do we have to talk to Addison? I know everyone's a big fan of Addison. To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? Well, how about you deal with it? In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role. Eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. No, go ahead. Hold your breath, Addison. Hmm. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. Yeah, and how'd you know Daddy? You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. 
what he shared of it anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title, but no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. So, she was on a first name basis with daddy, not because they were close, just because she's a bitch. Nice. Nice start. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it Drink. is. Drink! Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. Dennis. I do not trust a rising Dennis. military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder, not repeat it. Ah, oh, goddamn poetry. Drink! There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. <laughs> Thankfully. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Or, or we could just put you out an airlock. Engineering report. Hyperion power draw is now at 100%. Harry Addison, you can watch me walk away. Mm. Would be cool to have jump jets in here, Hello, wouldn't Russell. it? The Salarian's talking to the console. Hello, computer. Hello. No, no talkie talkie. Uh, the game is smooth and combat is fun so far. But this is the beginning of the game. I, I can't say too much about it yet. And I don't want to just... Uh, regurgitate things I've I've heard. All right, welcome to the Nexus. What can we see of the Nexus already on the map here? Um, different levels, not all laid out. Variety of tasks. Yeah, the actual structure of the map looks okay. I think it's gonna get pretty busy with lots of um, lots of symbols that aren't entirely clear. So what do we have? Nexus operations, militia office, hexagons, white hexagons with dots, tasks, getting to know the Nexus, and office. Okay, what's what? We have um, squares with circles and dots in them are locations. Hexagons with dots in them are tasks. Orange hexagons with stars are primary mission objectives. Orange circles with white dot is the pathfinder. Little uh, monetary symbol or merchant. Let's see if that holds up. Um, too many scorch marks on that shiny, shiny floor. Oh, I have no problem with that. Still have one point to spend, right? Let's take a quick look, and you can 
spend points on your squad mates and and skill them up even though you won't be able to tell them what to do in battle tell them where to go but you won't be able to tell them which powers to use so Korra say much about what she is say anything she have a class of her own charge nova shield boost asari commando I, I did play the very beginning of this game off stream to decide if i was if i wanted to stream it if this was going to be the game i came back for uh, how have you been building rider so far not at all i mean this bionics this is the beginning we just got to the nexus all i've done uh, you get concussive shot because i went with the default character quick character i didn't do any custom design this is the default sarah rider uh, I went immediately for throw, and from what I am being told, pole can be detonated with concussive shot. So we've got lots of choices, and we'll get to profiles and talk about all that. But uh, having a little more freedom to mix and match from any of these skills, I will still probably go for the things I'm familiar with and like, at least to begin with. Energy drain, that's my bag, baby. Doesn't seem so powerful yet, but um, yeah, flamethrower cryo beam classics like incinerate and overload uh but i want throw and it sounds like i'll get pull concussive shot definitely gonna gonna level those up quite a bit you got three primer detonators at the moment already uh, concussive shot uh throw is a detonator and energy drain is a detonator well then the next should be pull let's go ahead and spend that one point on pull and then we've at least got a primer primer detonator i think i get the basic idea there so that's good thank you for reminding me tips are welcome and encouraged if you can avoid spoiling the story we'll be all good if you want to suggest hey that's a that's a really good quest line make sure you do that or um nah that quest you're gonna spend two hours on that quest line and it's flat i that stuff's fine uh just avoid spoiling the story tips on skills character building it's all welcome i'd encourage that if you've been here before, like to play through um, the Mass Effect series on Insanity, not this time. It's on normal. I don't want any bullet sponges while I'm trying to enjoy this and look past anything that might um, might be distracting. So uh, can also be detonated with Singularity. Interesting. Interesting. That's not a primer. It's a detonator. And respec in the med bay at the hologram skeleton. Okay, good. Uh, you found weapon mods, and you have scan points. Can you use them? Scan points, scan points. Not sure about that, but the weapon mods, yes. Uh, let's look at that in a second. Is this one of those games where it's imperative you play the previous ones? No, Rango, not this time. It's not, because the trilogy was uh, the, the tale of Shepard and uh, Shepard's companions and took place in the Milky Way galaxy. This is a whole other group of people in another galaxy the people here don't even know what happened back in the Milky Way with the Reapers. They left a long time ago, um, 600 years ago by the current date. But where does that, wh when did they launch? Sometime around, like between Mass Effect 1 and 2? Is that when the Andromeda mission began? But it's all new characters in an all new place, so no, no dependencies on the first games. Two points for Korra, Charge, Nova. So yeah, Asari Commando, she's clearly not an Asari, uh, and that threw me off a little when I when I first saw that. She'll get to explaining why, but uh, she does have Commando training, shotgun damage and force. A lot like Mass Effect 3, you have the base, the three base tiers in any skill, and then it branches and you'll have to pick. So where are we going to spend her points? Defensive, offensive shield boost nova we won't be telling her to use nova or shield boost so if we give her these powers we kind of have to count on her doing doing well by them but shotgun damage and force go for it defensive training max shields more survivability don't know how quickly companions are going to go down uh nova video of that nova anybody can do a ground pound so i'm not sure about um it looks like a standard ground pound, but area damage, effect radius, recharge time. Yeah, let's give her a Nova. Can you respec your companions as well? I'm guessing you can. 
Uh, thought if you commit to top or bottom, you have to go through it till the end, but that's false. Correct. You're, you're, you're right. It stocks. You don't have to. If you start on the top, you don't have to go along the top. You can go top, bottom, top, or whatever whatever works. Uh, between two and three, not between one and two. Okay, thank you, KGG. If um, so the Andromeda arcs launched before the Reapers um, really moved in, when the Reapers were still more of a rumor and very few people believed that they were coming, they certainly don't know what happened back there. I have no idea whether things turned out red, green, or blue. Frag grenade, havoc strike, overload. Why is that locked? It is locked because 18 skill uh, skill points required invested in Liam before you can unlock overload. I'll come later. Military training, weapon damage and force. Let's give them that basic. What is havoc strike? Seem to be a number of variations on ground pounds, novas, charges. So let's go ahead and give them some variety. We can decide what to uh, what to build up more. Void, are you off? Good night. Good night. Sleep well. We'll catch you on the other side. There will be a stream tomorrow as well, and it'll be starting a little earlier. You can. Um, Check out the schedule again on Spec Me. Although there's not much there yet, it's just tomorrow's. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be keeping that up best I can as far in advance as I can, which is not very far yet. So Ryder spent her points, right? Um, let's see what else is in here. So the journal is a bunch of nested folders. Getting to know the Nexus. If we assign that as the active uh, active mission. And then we pick up another mission. I believe it's going to reassign the active mission to whichever one we just picked up. And then we have to come back here and dig through the folders. So keeping track of what is where could be a little tricky. Maybe you could help me out with that as we go along. Completed missions. But priority ops. we got to speak with Director Tan and the Pathfinder headquarters. Let's run around and, and uh, meet and greet a little bit first. Bionics, keep in mind you only get three active, so make sure you equip pull if you want to use it. Ah, good point. Very good point. Yeah, let me swap that out. I might like energy drain, but um, if I want concussive shot and throw, then maybe um, maybe energy drain can, can wait. Weapons. Harrison's. It's gonna take some getting used to. Predator we have here. Charger has a much higher rate of fire. Less damage, higher rate of fire, bigger clip, holds more ammo, less accuracy, more weight. I like traveling light. For now, let's stick with the Predator. Oh, oh that was just pistols. Where would that all go? <laughs> yes, I'm just gonna flail about for a bit, don't mind me. Wanted to assign pull, assign power. Let's put, uh, hmm. Don't like that the center power is, uh, you have to squeeze both bumpers instead of being mapped to face buttons like the earlier games on console. Yeah, this is Bionics, this is on PC. I do, do have it on Xbox, but um, for these three powers, one is the left bumper, one is the right bumper, and one is pulling both, which is kind of awkward, at least for so far, it's a little awkward. Works for something like energy drain that I will do less frequently, but uh, pull. Hmm. All right, well, let's, let's we'll put it in the middle here. Hold button, hold on. Hold button drags the target enemy or object along with the user. Combine with the throw power to hurl a held target. What else has hold functions? Pull has a hold, throw does not have a hold. Hold. I hmm. wonder if that works well. Omni grenade has a hold. We don't have Omni grenade, but shortens the fuse timer before throwing. Okay, cook the grenade. Explodes if held too long. It stocks little icons next to the skills. Also show if they are primers or detonators. Let's see, where's that? Okay. 
I see that. So concussive shot, it looks like a little, uh, like a TNT detonator. Very small icon, but it's there. And I don't know what the primer icon is supposed to look like, but I got that. I got it. Thank you. Overload has a charge. Hold to charge, causing it to chain to two additional targets. Very nice. I think there's some potential in there. Uh, where were we? We're looking at weapons, 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 inventory, weapons. I have one assault rifle at the moment. Don't have any shotguns yet. Melee, basic omni blade. So pistol mods. Hazcat, you were asking about mods, right? Mm, where do we assign them? Back where the weapons themselves are? Not here. Deconstruct. We could deconstruct the charger, but for whatever reason, we cannot deconstruct the predator. Is that because it was. Not the right place to switch this stuff up? Alright, armor. You only have one of everything so far. Consumables. With the check marks here. <clears throat> Maybe we'll have to do this stuff on a workbench of sorts. You miss quick save, but at least there are auto saves. Wait, I, I I've gotten used to not quick saving in large part because the uh, first two games, uh, if I'm playing with a controller mod, uh, there was no there was no button for that. Mass Effect Three mapped formerly known as select button to quick saves both on console and um, worked with the controller mod on PC. Now we've got official controller support, but really, no quick saves, huh? Not even F5 on a keyboard? You cannot deconstruct what's equipped. All right, that makes sense. Blueprints. We'll be researching things. Getting more blueprints. I assume we'll find some blueprints, maybe research stuff for blueprints. Eventually craft new gear. Weapon blueprints. Some of the requirements shown there, things we have, things we don't have. Arniflex. Disciple shotgun. The Matok assault rifle. Yeah, I hope to see some of my favorites. Don't suppose the scorpion's in here somewhere. Widow. Menus, menus, menus. All right, let's look around. Let's get to know the Nexus. Oh, it's another information wall. Hello, I'm Jan Garson, founder of the initiative. Hey, it's Dragon Rider. It's hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud all right. new colleagues together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. Who am I? You are Sarah Ryder, salary code 19B, active pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Woohoo! Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? <laughs> for initiative strategy and pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nack Morkesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. So, okay, bionics augments are used when crafting a weapon, but there are still mods you can slap onto a weapon that's already crafted, right? Just those are two different categories of weapon mods, generally speaking. Hey, Maka, 
Good evening, Jay, my old pal. How you been keeping? It's been a while. Um, yeah, thanks, Crispy. Thanks so much. It's uh, a wonderful use of your time. Yeah, I've been all right, Maka. I had, uh, had a surgery back in the middle of March, finally, to deal with the stuff that's been going on since um, since October. So finally getting getting some traction on that. I've got a titanium plate and four screws in my spine now. And I can use both arms and both hands and hold a controller again. Hell yeah. Oh, it's been a long road. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Viable planets, capable of supporting life, are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. You don't say. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. All right, let's not check in with 10 yet. I want to run around a little bit. Okay. Didn't mean that wasn't 10 over there. Oh, we're, we're going to be going in circles on this uh, this place for a while. Think of the first trip to the Citadel. How long did you spend your first time on the Citadel in Mass Effect 1? I think hours, two, three hours just walking around, talking to everyone, and getting lost. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. Ouch! Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible, what with how we crash-landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so... Yeah. Alright, we've got a hundred credits. You can see some of the, some of the weapon prices. Back to shopping. Don't feel like shopping. Don't have any money for shopping. We scan as we're running around here. Been encouraged to scan as much as possible. And um, just to make a point of it, because I did play this, the intro off stream when deciding whether or not we we're going to play this on stream. Um, this does seem to be a random roll. I open this container here. I got a piece of armor, but it could have been a weapon. Could have been a variety of different things. So if you feel like save scumming it to get something that you might find more useful, save before you pop that container open. Maverick Skirmisher Armor. 5% weapon damage, 3% spare ammo, 3% weapon headshot, weak point bonus. Um... Let's just, you know, I'm not going to sit here and re-roll and re-roll, but let's just look at that together. Let's see what it takes. Uh, first of all, how long it takes. We wanted to... My, uh, where do you load from? No, seriously, where do you load from? Uh, where is that? In the game? Oh, load latest save. Don't forget to sell your salvage. Thank you. Sell all of it, or keep some of that? Oh, look at that. Rolled an N7 Hurricane. Uh, high rate of fire. Big clip. Fair amount of ammo. Looks pretty heavy, too. Low damage. Maybe not. Anyways, I'm not going to sit here and save scum, because I don't have anything in particular that I want. Just to make a point of it, if you're interested, that seems to be a special little chest, and you can roll through it. Damage control. Uh, no, you still can. Maka, you still can. 
Or I thought you still could. Can you do a... Oh, well, I'm not a partner is what's up, Maka. You can only use the Twitch Prime subscriptions for Twitch partners. And, uh, and I am not a Twitch partner. But uh, I think it still works. I think they still do that. Damage control. Tyrion Condros. Two Tyrion Condros from Jaren Tan, director. You're aware there was a mutiny aboard the Nexus during your absence. Events escalated quickly, but we believe it began with a fire in hydroponics and theft in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor, but for the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloane Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. Whoops. There have been perfunctory attempts to catalog and address the damages caused by Sloane's people during the uprising. Supplies stolen, equipment broken, things of that nature. But I was hoping the militia could step in and draw up an official report. It's imperative we know what we're working with if we're going to survive. First reply, Director Tan. I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. You really need militia oversight. I'll get Sergeant Nels to look at it. That said, it was my understanding the Exiles were more Calix's people than Sloane's. Isn't he the one who started the mutiny? Calix Corvanus may have started it, but Sloane made her allegiances clear. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when it comes to this task. Sloane Kelly's not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. Good, then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the Exiles might have gone. When we do get colonial efforts up and running, I don't want any surprises. Boarding report from Recon Team 232. Trail's cold. Found what looks like an abandoned camps. Abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system, but none with living ha inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. Salvage is only for selling. Gee, thank you. And there's a sell all salvage button. Awesome. Prestige, are you off? I think it's time for me to take off. Really glad to see you come back, Jay. Waiting to watch a lot more streams, man. Welcome back. Try not to get your face tired. I'm more worried about the voice. Um, being that they sliced into my throat two weeks ago. Yeah, I have some sensation of a lump in my throat. And that grows as I talk and talk and talk and talk. But, uh, I think we'll be good. But the time was toxic. Have a good night, Prestige. We'll see you later. Hopefully tomorrow. Like Quiro's rockfish. I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinite. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Eric's into life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Our Adana's the space and math whiz. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Hey, old snake. Welcome. Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Oh, I've Anything heard. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Oh, I don't know about that, old snake. It was, um, it was so busy I couldn't keep up with it. But we've been going three hours already. So, yeah, it's um, a lot of people in across the pond here. Europe and East. They're, it's, it's the middle of the night already. But, uh, yeah, it may have quieted down a little bit. I just got back from break a little while ago. Also, we're on the Nexus for the first time. It's kind of like the first trip to the Citadel. Not the most, uh, not the most engaging and exciting, but important. We've got to meet and greet and... Get our first little taste of lore, pick up um, more more training and tutorial missions, that kind of thing. Stay focused, stay Your on work target. Is important. Don't lose sight of that. 
When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Dario now. Have focus. How you doing? Arr. It's like how that other Asari stepped in, so I can't see how um, Chief Lucan was pooping. Good cover. Just give him good cover. They must be friends. Notice the hand of the too small for lizards. You'd be surprised. There's also Bervine in the seed bank. Nobody's making creeper in Andromeda. You'd be surprised. Pathfinder, no time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. We'll get there. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Costa Rica, huh? 4 p.m. So we, uh, we're kind of lined up. It's about 4.30 here. Yeah. We're in the same time zone. I'm here in Colorado in the States. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. Oh. Exile, huh? Guess it wasn't for having a hand in the cookie jar. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Well, there may not be time, but... I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? Main meet and greets. Used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. 
By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. Big fan of female Turians. Yeah, Nyreen. Is that actually the same um, same voice actress, or just... Um, well, it's always good to see female Turians. Didn't get many of those before. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Well, I'm looking forward to that, Daria, now finding out what, um, how it all unfolds. Bumpy starter, no. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. And what I'm hearing from almost everyone who continues to play past the beginning of the game is that they enjoy it a lot more as it goes on. Break team missions. The militia's current strike team we'll just have to come back to that. Please speak with Tyrion Candros for authorization to participate. So, getting to know the Nexus, uh, you can see the objectives in the upper right, but I think if I go and speak with the guard and the prisoner, it'll switch right away. Not that that matters much, but uh, didn't get my objective markers for the meet and greet. Getting to know the Nexus back, and I have to go dig through the menus. So for now, let's just uh, stay on target. Up to Kesh. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and, in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan 8? Because he was 8th in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like <laughs> to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Not the first choice, huh? Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. Then... With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's... complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots defended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jian Garson, was killed. I don't know, Rango. Uh, female Krogans, at least the only one we've ever heard dialogue from, did sound a lot like that. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. 
Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. Must have brought a tremendous amount of resources. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the genophage. Right. The genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. Mm. Tyler's, formerly known as Tyler's. Hey, I like to eat cheese, too. Welcome back. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show mutation against the virus. A natural defense. Yeah, I like the face paint. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will I want to live. talk about that. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Ah, uh, jeez, it's too early for me to say much about it. This is the very beginning of the game. We're still in tutorials and introductions. But uh, you'll get a lot of different opinions from, from people asking that question, people who have played more of it. This is my first playthrough. I did, I did go through this introduction off stream to see if I wanted to, to stream it. But I haven't gotten into the game proper yet. We'll have to uh, we'll have to talk about that more later. So genophage, the genophage which reduced viability of Krogan births to the point where the race would not breed out of control, but really restricted them to barely being able to breed at all. However, that was dealt with in uh, in the previous games when the Andromeda mission set off. That had not yet been resolved. So the genophage came with the Krogans, and in this case, 4%, 4% viability. Um, when I first heard that, it sounded a little off. You're saying the genophage, which is such a big deal, was something you could just tinker with while in uh, hypersleep, in stasis, and, and come out better on the other side. But 4% is a very small uh, small difference meaningful but a small difference and it, it doesn't it doesn't bug me as much as I might have thought at first the clan that she is from had a genetic um, that had a small genetic advantage where the genophage was concerned and so it's not as out of bounds as it might seem they didn't cure the genophage in stasis on the way here to Andromeda they just took advantage of a natural um, a natural state nudged it a little bit. And what did they get it to? 4% viability. All right. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. Yes, I know the Hyperion docking unannounced causes switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. My crew... Same shit, different day. For posterity, in case the initiative goes belly up. The Nexus is a four-ring circus. Don't like how Tan operates, and his disdain for the Krogan is obvious. I believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he's an opportunist who's likely to create dissent. I don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. 
It's already polarizing Addison. She's taking the cue to circle the wagons. I think I can talk to Kandros about this and at least try to get the two of us more coordinated. Or maybe not. Seriously hate this kind of drama. Uh, you're right, Old Blood Wolf. That too, Morden did hint that Krogan physiology would begin to adapt to the Genophage, hence why his team um, retuned it. Yeah, the original Genophage project was one thing, but Morden's involvement was uh, uh, in large part with a redispersal that adjusted the Genophage to fine tune the Krogan birth rates after the fact. Um, oh yeah, okay, bionics. Well, all right, 4% isn't that small. Well, relative. It's a hugely significant difference, even if it's not a large-scale viability of Krogan births. Say uh, 1 in 1,000 is 0.1%. 4% is a 40-fold increase, which is a huge improvement, even though it's still a, a disturbingly small number of uh, viable births relative to the number of attempts. But if left unchecked, the Krogans would have swarmed all over the galaxy. So whether or not you approve of the Genophage project, it um, it was definitely a point of concern that the Krogans, which had been... This is well, the planet where I'll we just landed. Habitat come back to that. Seven. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Hey, thank you, Hot Dogs, for posting that. Yeah, most everything should be up on YouTube to this day. A few things have been left off, but um, almost everything is up there. There's also a list, uh, a couple lists, list of games, but a list of all the games that have been streamed, and that now has links to all the YouTube playlists. There it is. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. I thank you, Kim. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way. Yet, it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Actually. Then there's the aliens you ran into. The Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Don't play games with me. <clears throat> the way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Hey. We asked for this ship? job. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, KC, me and Sam live on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. This reunion. We did our basic meet and greets. Engineering report. Hyperion power draw is speak with the scientist. Now speak with Tan. Aren't we standing next to Tan? Wait, what? It's still catching up. Okay, better beginning. Speak with Sam and the Hyperion. The objectives were a little slow to update. <clears throat> Ooh. 
So let's see what the journal's done with those few things. Better beginning, speak with Sam on the Hyperion. I think we'll take the shuttle there. First strike, speak to Kandros on the Nexus or via the Tempest's Vidcom. First strike, that has to do with the Apex missions. That kind of like the, um, you send, happens off camera, you send crews off to do things. Is it something like that? Allies and relationships, find leads on the Arcs, Salarian, Asari, and Tyrion. Helios assignments, subfolder Nexus, first murderer, speak with the prison guard. We're here, he's around the corner, let's do that. Additional tasks. No, oh, we do still need to speak with Tan, who is right here next to us, who we were just speaking with. Okay, we'll talk to him again. Missing scientists, find the missing science vessel. Um, so, Old Blood Wolf, I have not had a first playthrough, only up to where you get your ship. Uh, yes, I did get in, uh, in Daddy's office. Daddy's old office. There are a couple very, very short tapes from, uh, from Liara, which we'll probably hear in the next few minutes. Ryder, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well. Although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain. But tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Well... Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Kandros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. Well, we've met one Krogan. Where are the rest? There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Did he just say his people tried to uplift them? By making sure they couldn't breed? As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here, or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. 
if we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Also not number Trade two, three, four, five, six, or seven from what I hear. inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then there you go. Then all leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So you were um, second in command of the economy. But now you're in charge of everything. Yeah. So you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I don't need to sell I it to me. Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. Sounds like an advertisement. We're already here. What do you know about the early days of the initiative? <laughs> TurboTax with Tan. Jean Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Yeah, I think he and I are going to have some problems. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. Quarian arc, huh? But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Scavenge Managing their own ship their by chance? all biological needs cause complications. We won't see them for some time to come. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat, or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on site can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. <laughs> Lucky me. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. Still think we're going to have problems, he and I. All right, first murderer. I think we're going to, um, we're going to get to the Tempest pretty soon. 
And when we do, take a break there. Maybe we can go uh, head off to the first planet here before we're done for the day. Ryder is a beta tester. Big time. Big time. Rango, you got to bounce now. Thanks, Jay and chat. Catch you tomorrow. Heck yeah. We'll see you on the flip side, Rango. Good to see you today. It's been really cool reconnecting. You. We're going to be Pathfinder here a lot Ryder, again. Here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilk, and you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs. Overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend. He refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. And? So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Well, Blood Wolf, see you on the other side. saw the chief's chest explode. Did you see it? I'm so sorry. That's awful. We were close. He was a stubborn son of a... I admire that about him. But I was enraged when we argued. There is a recording. It's... It's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. All right, Kandros back on the other side. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault Message and extraction for you, Commander. Squad. Just came in over a secure channel. Yes. Best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Nice way Since to bounce. Front row view of the cluster, Old Blood Wolf, thank you for I keeping you that sub going so long, man. Thank you for supporting the stream like that. That is huge. Thank you. What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. All right, switched the uh, active mission over to first strike, but we were here to talk to him about the first murderer. No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. Doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. That is the difference between murder and accidental death. In this case, motive plus opportunity plus eyewitness account equals murder. Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off 
me! Get him off me! That's it? So, um, yeah. Well, speak with Witness Shaw. Oh, it's skill points that took us here. Uh, we'll come back to those three points. Where is Witness Shaw? Map, please. Come on. Map, please. What else is there? Shaw's up on the command command center. Is that what we call that? Extras to pick up. First strike. Don't want to mess with that now. All right. You're in the forest. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Not like we saw anything Back right explode. After the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Talk Did you to talk anyone? to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me if they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. No, 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 I'm fine. And I don't, I don't know. All right. First murderer is still active. Shaw's right up here. Let's talk to Shaw. That hair. Come on now. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Sarah Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the chief. He looked white at Nilkin and shouted no. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Yeah, can't get over the muskrat on your head, though. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Well, Tomalak will have to see what happens when we get out into the galaxy. It's all too... It's all too soon. This is tutorial stuff. Tutorial missions and... Uh, not usually a lot of meat in those, so... Something I can help We're not you with. there yet. I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. I still got you, Mike. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. 
that isn't usually Pathfinder business. What do you know of Pathfinder business? And I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. All right, so we won't be down on that planet for a while. Investigate murder evidence. So let's switch things back to station sabotage. We've got a couple sites to check on. A couple other panels. Right here. One of them is right here. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Like that one leads up here. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. <clears throat> so keep your eye on the compass and how some of the indicators sort of jump around. Not entirely clear about where they are until you're on the right level with them. If you're not on the right level, they don't seem to uh, do a very good job of telling you whether it's above you or beneath you, which kind of matters when you have uh, a lot of both to work with. But when it's on the level, not so bad. It seems to show you right where you're going. I've heard of hustle. Good thing, bro. Possible thing. And about a goddamn cannon. Damage done to this site was caused by a direct override of the safety locks. Numerous people are listed as working here. I will cross-reference all other data. I think he was supposed to say that out loud, but... Uh, hello? Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Off this way. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. All right, we've been in the same area of the Nexus most of the time here. Hey, Cora. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Yeah. Addison. Yeah, meeting Addison was interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their vest is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Not sure um, Cora knows us that well yet either. Habitation deck. So we will be using this map just by pointing um, a controller pointing the camera at different spots on the map. Take take the tram to different places but so which which is which tram station operations is where we will find nope um never mind that let's just look in here front the saboteur we were told who it was but it doesn't seem to be logged here in the journal i think that's the habitation deck let's go there
So, looking at the objective markers on the compass for a minute, I was just talking about how they don't tell you whether they're above or below. Looks like they sort of do, it's just inconsistent. So look there, we've got a down arrow. Easy enough, it's below us somewhere. So I come down a little bit, and it loses that arrow, and yet we can't see the marker anywhere. Not trying to nitpick it, just pointing out that it is going to be a little confusing when you don't know whether something is above or beneath you, even if at times there are arrows to indicate that. Boom! All of a sudden, it's on the same level. I guess if there's no arrow, it's going to be approximately on the same level. Sarah Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I've never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. Oh. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high level access for that. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. Hmm. Sam node. Sam already requested that we come and talk in private, right? Hello, Sarah. Welcome back to Sam node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Well, oh. people might get a little scared, but... Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious, like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship, benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI, so what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. It says it quick and simple, but it's kind of a big deal. And most of the computers that we had, uh, there weren't a lot of AIs in the previous games. There was one in particular, unshackled AI. Most of them were considered VIs, virtual intelligences, not full-blown artificial intelligences. That's... Pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So, what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps How convenient. you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Alright, first look at profiles. The first three games you picked your class, you stuck with it. 
soldier, engineer, adept, sentinel, vanguard, infiltrator, and we have your explorer locked until you have two points each in combat, tech, and biotics. Hey there, misery. Welcome. I think because we're going to be able to choose freely between these, we don't need to make any big decisions here right now, but to unlock some of them, we're going to need to spend points, six points in tech before you can be an engineer, six points in biotics before you can be an adept and so forth, some splits. But uh, we're also going to be able to set up favorites. We're going to be able to have our favorite profiles, which include what? The, the various mappings of powers. Since we have three powers we can map at a time, we could have four different um, soldier profiles if we wanted, but maybe not as practical as having some, some mixing there. How are you doing, Misery? Happy Friday. You've come in, we're, uh, we're actually four hours into the stream. How crazy is that? Four hours and counting. Going to take a break soon, but what I'd like to do, so we'll push a little past four hours before that break, I'd like to run around, deal with the, the saboteur, and when we're ready to board the ship for the first time, I'll take a break there, then we'll come back, and maybe we'll head off to the first actual planet, get things underway. Really underway. Message coming in. Move away from this, uh, it through. this tutorial here. Yeah, it feels good. Chronic HC, what's up? Thank you for the host. Welcome, Chronic. So, soldier for now, other things later. Different bonuses, not major bonuses, but 20% across the board, 15, 20%, different things. A lot of melee from Vanguard, unsurprisingly. Uh, the mapped powers, Chi, the mapped powers and the profile you want along with them give some helpful bonuses. Heck yeah. Chronic, you enjoying your Friday? So we'll uh, we'll come back to that. Sam said to go check out Daddy's office, which is right around the corner. Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Right. Seems a lot of the soldiers on guard around the station. I don't know if you'll catch him doing it right now, but they crouch down. First, I thought that was weird, like they were taking cover as if they were in combat. But if you think about it, if you're going to stand around for 12 hours, you're going to need to stretch your legs, and one of the ways is to, to bend them. So that kind of makes sense. All right, Daddy's office. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders, too. Extra dialogue from checking again. Printed books. No. Nope. Reproductions of okay. Lewis and Clark's journals. Okay. Okay. Thanks. In the 19th century. Something else. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Normandy. So the um, arcs which set out for Andromeda left between Mass Effect Two and Three. Does mean the Normandy SR Two was the thing before they left. Chronic, you've been bouncing back and forth between this and Skyforge. Had to take a break to get dinner started. What's dinner? What's dinner tonight? I'm starting to get hungry. Played right through the, the lunch hour here. Tomorrow's going to be uh, an earlier start. I'm going to go for six hours tomorrow as well, but uh, I'm going to start a little earlier. Let's, we'll hit that memory trigger in a second. Go for some coffee. I could actually go for some coffee. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing Some coffee it. on the break. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. Hmm. <laughs> Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Okay, we leave the office. We'll run back in to talk to Sam for a minute. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Take it from the top. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. 
It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Hey, He's Doc! I am the very model of a scientist, scientist Solarian. I've studied species Turian, a Saurian, Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian. Proud to be here, Shepard. Very proud to be here. Oh, misery, thank you. That was super generous. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Can we get some love for misery in chat? Thank you so much. Nice. And Doc, that maybe that answers your question. Feeling good enough to sing. Good enough to sing. Doc, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. Probably can't see on the camera here. Oh, thank you so much, Misery. Here, I don't know. Can you see? Does the scar show up on camera at all if I get in close? I've got, uh, there's a picture of the x-rays up on uh, Discord and Twitter and uh, occasionally just showed a little bit of the scar progress, but it's two weeks, man. It's two weeks ago yesterday, and so doing really well. Um, all, all this speaking and projecting has given me a bit of a a lump of a feeling in my throat, but that's not entirely new. That's been been on and off. But doing really well. Ah, oh, Misery, thank you. It was fantastic. Yeah, good enough to sing. And good enough to be here for four hours and counting. Um, long ways to go. But I think I got the... the I got the means. We got the tools. We got the talent. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we'd debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Yeah, Dennis, they go in from the front, push aside the airway to get to the spine. It's not as far back as you'd think. If you look at the x-rays, you can see it's surprisingly close to the front. But um, <laughs> doctors do amazing things, although the retractor that they use, the x-ray of that, which I got, is pretty creepy looking. Looks pretty medieval. So we got a couple messages from Tissoni. Liara. I wish she was here for the ride. And Morden. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss me. Med school. Work, but I'm young and a sorry, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say, the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. How are you doing, Doc? Up now. I'm worried about Scott. Dr. Tapero says he'll be fine, but... He's my son. How can I not worry? I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are... Things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Depends on how well you explain them, Dad. Encrypted logs. That log is not currently accessible. Because it's encrypted. May enable it. Spider, thank you for the auto host. And Soul and Claire. 
Thank you for all the host love, everyone. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Doc, if you don't mind my asking, is that just um, continued follow-ups on stuff, or is that in investigative towards um, other other stuff? That log is not currently accessible. Yeah, okay, none Unlocking of them are accessible. Array, I got the message. Enable. Number four won't be accessible either. But uh, back in PT, we're in PT now. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory. I do array. love physical yeah. therapy. I love the structure it creates for for doing doing the right stuff with your own body. It's so hard to have, for me to have enough discipline to do the right things. Your father's personal logs. Ah, oh, never mind. That's where we just were. And uh, I will probably get back into some PT myself in a few weeks. I am Dr. Liara. Oh Tassari, man, I'm sorry to I hear spent that. Doc. Several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Couple more notes from Liara, maybe? I hope there's more besides when just these. A dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. This, uh, the time frame from these logs, 600 years ago, but was between Mass Effect 2 and 3, so this was before we woke up Prothe the Prothean, and, um, so Liara had, had not met one yet. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Times like it to take it? Nope. Um, yeah. Doc getting, uh, doesn't help, help you getting younger. I've always said, long felt that, uh, um, you stop being rubber somewhere around 20. Of course, now I'm getting closer to 40. So I'm going to be 39 this year. So I'm going to be 40 next year. But um, besides the pain that rolls around every four hours or so, for which I am still on a pretty tight med cycle, the, the worst of it is probably when I wake up. And I don't know what it's going to feel like to be 80, but that's, that's what I think it feels like. I kind of wake up and... and um, uh, I hope that passes. But that's, that's maybe the worst of it, just waking up in bed. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current that knowledge could be, not G. color the facts. Could be. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, Fuck. this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. It, it does go by faster and faster, does it not? Uh, yeah, there you go, Misery. Every injury after 25 becomes a tiny disability. Things, uh feel any pain when you woke up dennis do you mean after the surgery do you do you really do you really want me to share <laughs> i mean um i don't I, i'm not trying to hide stuff or bullshit anyone but um that's some um, why don't i just say yes i'll just say yes if you have uh if you have 
have more questions, feel free to hit me up off stream. I'll, I'll tell you everything you want to know. But, um, yeah, yes, pretty intense. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Hit play! Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Helen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow, hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. Yeah, the things you do for family. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, dad moved us back to Earth to care for mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Dennis, sleep well. Good night. And we'll catch you here tomorrow. There's going to be another stream tomorrow. Hopefully another six hours, and we'll start a little earlier. 10 o'clock my time. It is on the spec me calendar i'm also trying to try to get to another break here we're going to do a little more today um yeah all right well let's check in with a little bit more <laughs> doc um asked if i'm playing on insanity we're doing normal this time i don't feel like dealing with bullet sponges i want to be able to look past any uh any distractions in the game and not get hung up on them so playing on normal and if the game really wins me over then maybe we'll jack it up later but I've got to get more comfortable with it. There's also no power wheel. I can't just hold a bumper, freeze combat, aim, issue commands. That's all gone. So, um, no, in, in the interest of um, more fun, less frustration, I did not jack it up to insanity. Not even to hardcore. It's on normal for now. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. Talk to me about this implant. Sam is in our head. Sam may be here, but Sam is in our head. It's not an earpiece. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology.
Yeah, Chi, uh, Doc, I, I did try to do a bit of that when I was testing the waters with this. I did, um, off stream, I did set it to hardcore, and not only did I die repeatedly in the first few fights, but uh, I, I just saw the potential for a lot of frustration there, especially with those cloaking dogs that come up behind you and before you know what's going on. So, you know, your shield's gone and your health is dropping. Um, I need to get a lot more comfortable with the combat system before I'm prepared to deal with that. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. That's what I'm thinking. How's Scott? Do you know anything more about Scott's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing Scott with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs? So there are other Sams out there? That's what Correct. I said. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's good for now. That's all for now. Of course. Yeah, we might uh, we might end up there. And Travix is the thing with insanity is it doesn't really get harder. The enemies just get beefier. That was always kind of the case. It wasn't tactically different, um, other than having maybe having to play it a lot more safe because because uh, you could just drop so quickly. But things were already sponges, even on normal. You could uh, some of the starter enemies. You could tag them in the head four times, a few body shots, and they're not quite down yet. That's a lot of uh, that's a fair bit of sponginess for for normal. Mike, dinner soon? Glad you're still putting avocados in there. It's my favorite. You're mixing? Yeah, chicken, fish, chips, asparagus. Heck yeah. Broccoli, brown rice. You know I'm not such a big fan of the brown rice. If I could change one thing about your meals. But then they wouldn't be your meals. Oh, that's making me hungry. So what is currently selected? Uh, we're going to get onto the Tempest tonight, but I am going to break, I think, before we end up on the Tempest. Investigate the security footage, which is back, um, what do they call it? The command center? Operations? The cryo bay. If we were going to go back and check on Scott, we'd be going back to the cryo bay, right? Is there any reason to go back to the cryo bay now or, um, before heading off to the Tempest? Hey, Manny, what's up? Um... I do I actually ended up because of that chest that sort of random loot chest I did end up with one other pistol an N7 pistol which one was it uh, inventory pistols N7 hurricane you know I'm not too big on faster pistols but uh, it has less damage much bigger clip somewhat um, larger max ammo Accuracy, slightly less accuracy, and a great deal more weight. So it'll really slow down power recharge. I may not use the Hurricane. Pistol looks sort of like an SMG, but um, not really. KG, don't don't need to head back to the cryo bay. Good. Well, let's check on the uh, security footage here, wrap up with the sabotage, and then before we head to the Tempest, I'll take a break. We'll come back and go there. Security footage, network access, instability detected, time stamp scrambled, playback corrupted. This file is useless. Let's check another. 
Uh, security footage, And too. another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. You think? Let's check another. Just leave me in the menu. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Somebody working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. So... I got a couple targets around here. This person is not a match. Mmm. I think my mom is cooking something because I can smell it from here. Mmm. Whatever it is, it smells good. No, it isn't what we want, but what choice we have. Four. Oh shit, right over there, I ran right by him. Hello? Tempest crew should report to the docking area at once. What are you gonna say about him? Oh. Been this person playing a lot of Zelda on the Switch. Still have A and B reversed in my head, in my muscle memory a little bit. Down that marker. I think that marker is taking us um, here. There had to have been a better way to handle the compass markers. Habitation deck. Back once more. A lot of fans of the good old Carniflex. Having some choices will be nice. Don't expect that to happen right away. Scan results show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? Hey, Edge, ask. what's up? My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... You're having trouble keeping going with it? Well, how far have you, uh, how far have you gone? Time-wise, I, I haven't played much so I, just wondering if you've uh, put in put in five hours 10 20 hours look you can't go blowing things up just because you disagree with what happened you may sympathize with the mutineers <laughs> you can't go blowing shit up Whatever happened back then, hurting people now makes no sense. What do you know? <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. <laughs> you should go. Not up to me. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision. That'll be the day. So, oh, this guy who's been blowing shit up, he just walks off stage right. Yeah. Okay, well, that's done. That's what I wanted to get done. Uh, Manny, so here's what's up. Yes, I've been playing Zelda. That's my recovery game. Um, been playing on the Switch since right after the surgery, which was two weeks ago yesterday. And, um,. And I've not been streaming again for a while. That's today. That's today. I'm just back at it today. You know, I was playing playing um, Book of Unwritten Tales or doing some point and click leading up to the surgery. Didn't quite get that finished before the surgery. 
I'll probably finish it and record it off stream, maybe upload the last few videos, end of chapter four and chapter five. But uh, I wanted to get back to something, um, I don't know, a little more lively. Is that a Roomba? It's a really tiny little vacuum, isn't it? Maybe it's a floor buffer. But uh, no, this is it. You made it back. This, this is the start. Um, so Zelda is amazing amazing i'm probably not gonna stream it just because i'm so far into it and i've been playing it uh, not that far into the story but i mean i might i might have 100 hours in it already brilliant game absolutely uh, just just wowing me at every turn i could just wander off into nowhere uh, it's, the chemistry set that it presents is unparalleled so far they've done a great job with it so i have nothing but good to say about zelda Except for maybe the rain. Rain gets a little, uh, <laughs> a little irritating at times. Yeah, I saw there was a patch that should fix some of the frame rate issues. As for the the controller connectivity, I have not hooked it up to a TV once. I've been playing it entirely on the on the Switch screen itself. So I'm either playing it with the controllers attached or separated with the Switch right in front of me on a little stand. So Shadow Dragon, slow by the way. I have not. Um, had any problems with the controllers but i haven't gone more than 12 inches away from uh, from the screen so i wouldn't be subject to that though i hear they're starting to um to fix controllers the left joy con they're going to fix them with a little bit of conductive foam so it should be all right going forward i bet you they're making sure that manufacturing covers that for for new units so i think that problem will go away pretty soon yeah, I don't know about almost constant rain, but it sure comes in um, and sticks around. <laughs> a lot of that. A lot of that. Where's my journal? Search for memory triggers that will unlock Sam's array. There might be more memory triggers back in Daddy's office, but we'll get to that later. We are ready to go to the ship. Almost. I am going to take a break, then we're going to come back and head to the Tempest. Is the pain all better? Um, the the problem has been dealt with. The pain will probably linger for a while. I can use my arms and my hands. I have freedom of movement. I can turn my head, although I shouldn't be snapping it very quickly. Um, I still have I still have nerve pain coming down my arm, but mostly the tingling is gone. And dealing with pain for quite a while, different levels, so. I, inflammation pain from inflammation around my neck and um residual pain in the arm that is hopefully not nerve damage just residual stuff that could last that, i mean it could last another week it could last a year it could last more than that so i'm uh, still on pain meds every four hours right now but uh i'm dealing well with it so not all better but the surgery was only two weeks ago uh, I think I've done well so far. Things things are going as they should. I need a break. I gotta go and try and stop talking for a few minutes. Go drink some water, maybe some juice. Go stretch my legs. Why don't you go stretch your legs? I'll meet you back here in about ten minutes, and we'll continue. We'll get on board the ship. Let me make a hard save here too. And starting to put streams back on the schedule. Right now, the only uh, only stream that's on there after today is tomorrow's, but I'd like to get one on for Sunday. Today's been going really well. We're already at four and a half hours. I'm going to go about another 90 minutes and then hopefully get six hours in tomorrow. And if I feel up to it, we'll, uh, we'll do on Sunday and there'll definitely be streams this coming week. My mother's been here taking good care of me. She's here through the middle of this, this week ahead. So I want to spend plenty of time with her while I can. Uh, but, but we are, we're back on. The stream is back on. It's back on now. And I will meet you back here in just a few minutes.